Okay, so in this video, I'm just gonna briefly talk about how I installed a voltage meter in my motorcycle. So I went on eBay and I ordered a, I mean, uh, Amazon, I ordered a voltage meter. And this is the one that I chose. They had different colors. They had like red, blue, and green. And the one that I chose was blue. Um, and basically it just comes with this piece here. It's like the size of a dime. And on the back there's two plugs, which is a positive and, mo and negative. And uh, basically just first of all, you have to find a location. Um, to install this meter. I mean, it's not something that you need to be constantly watching while you're driving. It's only, you know, when you need to check when you start the bike, um, just how much power is in your battery, just the life of your battery. So placement wise, it doesn't have to be like smack on right in the middle next to your speedometer because it's not that important. So here I found a good location for it. And then you just drill a hole through your plastic. Ideally, you want to use one of these tools here. Right, one of these tools to make the hole. Make a nice, clean cut. Then once you've put it through the plastic, um, it's fairly easy. Uh, all these wires is just a lot of other stuff, but if you look down here, you can see right here. Sorry, my hand is, well, the shadow's blocking, but you can see the positive and minus right here. I added a lot of silicone over it um, just because this area is quite exposed to the elements. And uh, so I silicone the whole thing just to make it waterproof. Then you have minus and plus. Here, but I just use the same red wire since I only have red wire. Yeah, so I'm using a 18 gauge wire right now um, to plug it directly to my power. So another, so the next step is pretty easy. Um, as long as you can find out where you, where your bike has the uh, its power source. So you want it, and you want to find a hot, like a wire that turns on when you switch the key to ignition and not when it's still on when it's off. Uh, so in my case, I found it through a brown wire, which is right here. That's where my power is when I turn on the key. And then you just find a, ne a ground or a negative source. It could be to your bike. You, you can just screw it to a, any metal piece to your bike. Or in my case, I'm going to connect it through my black wire, which is my negative or ground. I mean, I'm running a couple other things here, but you just want to focus on the two voltage meter wires, which is one going to my positive, and then the other one going to my negative. Um, I kind of unscrewed the negative one, so it's a bit loose right now, as you can see, because I'm not really done yet. But just for the sake of this video, uh, I just wanted to show you. I'm not sure if it's touching, but okay, let's just let's just find out. So. Basically, I mean, that's pretty much it. You just want to wire it to source of power when the key is on. And if we go ahead and look, if we turn on the bike. Boom, blue light. So here we go. It's saying my, I'm at 12 volts right now. And uh, yeah, let me turn it off for you again and turn it back on. So 12, let me see if I activate the fuel pump, if it'll make any difference if I start this time. So yeah, see it's drawing a bit of power there. Went up to, went down 11.5 and now we're at 11.9. It's a bit low just because right now I've been installing all these like, like lights on my bike. I've been testing it without turning on the engine. So it's slowly draining my battery, but it'll go back up. But again, right, right. This gives me an idea of the current, you know, like level of my battery. So it's always nice to have because, especially in a motorcycle, your battery, the battery is so small. It's you never know, right? When um, you never know the charge of it. So it's nice to have a voltage meter, especially in a bike. So yeah, that concludes the 
the uh, summary or whatever you call it of how to install a voltage meter in your motorcycle or vehicle it's all pretty much the same thing right so uh, okay let me know if you have any questions and uh, thanks for watching